one beats the diplomatic security service when it comes to protecting high-profile dignitaries and VIPs, which is exactly why these law enforcement officers are on hand learning from the pros at the International Law Enforcement Academy. Crossload left! Crossload left! Crouching at the passenger side door of a white pickup truck, a police officer and his diplomatic security service instructor respond to a convoy under attack. Although the scenario is simulated, the skills these 28 law enforcement officials from the Caribbean and Central America are learning are very real. The training course is designed to provide skill sets for personal protection in overseas environments. Beep, beep, beep. A variety of different attack scenarios that they will have to show uh, how to respond to. Supervisory Special Agent Demas has worked for DSS for more than 20 years. He is the director of the International Law Enforcement Academy, or ILEA, in San Salvador. The facility is a sprawling 11-acre campus with state-of-the-art classrooms, simultaneous interpretation booths, a forensic lab, and a mock city to drill those convoy attacks. The guns are retreating in their lap, right? The Christian is a DSS supervisory special agent and one of five instructors leading the week-long overseas protective operations course. Right now, the team is working on weapons retention and weapons takeaway drills, in addition to some other protective operations security measures that we do, like thumb breaks or uh, trying to get a protectee away from someone in the event of uh, an altercation. And even I got a chance to see just how effective some of these tactics are. Uh, this ILEA was established in 2005 as a joint endeavor between us and the government of El Salvador. So we have a very active partnership with our El Salvadoran counterparts, delivering world-class training to our regional partners from 32 countries across the Western Hemisphere. DSS provides similar training at ILEA facilities outside the Western Hemisphere as well in Bangkok, Budapest, Botswana, and Ghana. There's also a U.S.-based ILEA facility in Roswell, New Mexico. I think a lot of folks at home might wonder why is it important for the U.S. government to train overseas law enforcement professionals? How do you answer that? Well, I think this is part of our overall training mission here at ILEA to develop capacity among our international partners to combat transnational organized crime and terrorism. These skill sets are important for us to show and teach and share with our international partners so that they bring that back to their home countries, share those skill sets with their respective agencies in order to help uh, promote justice, peace and security throughout the region and around the world. The Department of State's Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement, or INL, funds ILEA, which is overseen by an interagency law enforcement committee that includes the Departments of State, Justice, Treasury, and Homeland Security. The government of El Salvador is also very much involved. Uh, they do a great job of sharing their knowledge, particularly when it comes to anti-gang initiatives, anti-gang training and knowledge. And almost every U.S. federal law enforcement organization conducts some sort of training here. There's a huge interagency presence, including the DEA, FBI, Secret Service, and ATF. To date, 70,000 overseas law enforcement professionals have already graduated from the ILEA academies. The largest contingent in this week's course is from Jamaica, with nine officers, including this corporal, who's getting a painful lesson from an eager colleague. I am having a really, really good time, and we're grateful for the opportunity that uh, this arc academy gave us, and we're really, really happy to take, back that, take that back home to teach the rest of uh, Jamaica Constabulary Force members and the protective details, some of the tricks and the moves and all that, so that we can be a better able to, to protect our bad peace. This group has learned a lot this week. What is the number one thing you hope they come away with? The number one thing is, uh, I think, the relationships that they're going to develop with their counterparts from across the Caribbean and across the Western Hemisphere. What we find that just as important as the curriculum we are delivering is the relationships that we are developing amongst international partners, relationships that we are developing as a U.S. government, that our counterparts in El Salvador are developing, but also what the relationships they're building amongst themselves that they leave here with and enables them to combat transnational crime in their day-to-day -day jobs. For DSS Public Affairs, I'm Jennifer Klarman in San Salvador.